About to give me a pound Tell her put the money in my hair right now Tell the promoter we need more seats We just sold out all the floor seats Hey guys, so this is my first day in London. Um, I've never been here before, so I'm really excited. But we flew out at 4 a.m. from Iceland, so I was super tired. So I sent Franz to do some sightseeing by himself, and I'm gonna go meet him at the Westminster Abbey. So we're gonna get London started. So I took the tube to the Westminster Abbey station, and as soon as I stepped out, I saw Big Ben. It was just incredible. And then I met up with Franz, and we walked to Westminster Abbey together. Yeah, London. After looking at Westminster Abbey, we decided to walk to Hyde Park, which was a close walk, and it's actually on the way to Buckingham Palace. So for dinner, we decided to walk around the city to see what our options were, and first we stopped by Kingly Court, and it was amazing, there were so many people, the energy was awesome, but we ended up eating at Punjab, which is an Indian restaurant, and it was so delicious, we ate there both nights. So on our second day, we decided to do a half a day trip to Stonehenge on the Golden Tours bus, and we missed our bus in the morning, they were supposed to pick us up at the hotel, and we missed the bus, they do not wait a minute past your pickup time. So we had to rush and take a cab to the station where fortunately our bus hadn't left yet and we made it on the bus. It's cold. Yeah. Um, we left London, it was like 80 degrees and over here I would say it's like in the high 60s. Once the tour bus takes you to the visitor station, you have to take another shuttle bus to the Stones. The wait in the morning is not that long, but it does get very long in the afternoon. So as soon as you're done walking around the Stones, make sure that you leave some time for you to wait in line. We waited about 10 minutes for our shuttle bus to take us back. When you first walk into Stonehenge and see the stones, all you want to do is just take a photo and there were so many people taking pictures with the stones at the first stop. I recommend just keep walking to the other side of the stones where there's not a lot of people so you can get your perfect picture and it looks like there's nobody else around. When we got back into London, we decided to take the tube to the London Bridge station and the London Bridge, there wasn't a lot to see, it was a typical bridge since they had to rebuild it so many times, but the Tower Bridge across the river looked amazing from the London Bridge. Of course, when you're in London, you have to go to Buckingham Palace and I loved it there. The building was so beautiful, it was such a beautiful structure. One of my favorite spots to visit was Trafalgar Square. There was a fountain and there was a museum with steps just like the Met in New York City. So Franz and I just hung out there and people watched for a little bit. We decided to go to Harrods and I had to stop by the Huda Beauty counter. It was amazing. She had all of her beauty products in stock. I loved it. Harrods was like a dream. So that was my trip to London. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. If you did, please subscribe because I post a lot of travel vlogs as well as hair and makeup tutorials and reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.